Windows Remote Hookup to Ubuntu 22.04 GNOME Remote Desktop. This video is about how to have a Windows machine use Remote Desktop to connect to an Ubuntu 22.04 computer using GNOME Remote Desktop settings. The two main ways for users to set up a Remote Desktop in Ubuntu 22.04 are 1. GNOME Remote Desktop and 2. XRDP. While XRDP seems more popular, Ubuntu 22.04 GNOME Desktop has opted for its own GNOME solutions. How they differ? Well, with GNOME Remote Desktop, it requires the user to be logged on locally, remotes into a logged on session. Unable to log on via remote desktop, if a user is locked, that basically means the screensaver is on, unless the GNOME Extension Manager applet allow locked remote desktop is installed. And that's not shown in this video. It's easier to set up than XRDP. It's easier to access user permissions when required, but it requires access to the physical machine when a reboot is required. For XRDP Remote Desktop, the user must be logged off locally and it starts a new session each time. Returning to the same session requires additional script configuration. It's more difficult to set up than GNOME Remote Desktop. And sometimes additional user permissions required but difficult to access through XRDP, but it's able to reboot and reconnect without having access to the physical machine. You're going to have to choose one or the other. In this case, we've chosen GNOME Remote Desktop in this video, but if you want to use both on the same machine, additional configuration is required as both GNOME Remote Desktop and XRDP need to access port 3389. Outcomes, or what you should be able to do after watching the video, configure GNOME Remote Desktop to be a Remote Desktop Protocol Server, configure Windows Remote Desktop to work with GNOME Remote Desktop and connect, and configure Remina in Ubuntu to work with GNOME Remote Desktop and connect. Requirements, all machines are connected to the same local network, a Windows computer, an Ubuntu 22.04 computer, an optional additional 22.04 computer to connect to the first Ubuntu computer. Additional info. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. Here I have Ubuntu 22.04 with a GNOME desktop, and I'm going to change the GNOME desktop setting so it will remote desktop with a Windows machine and also another Ubuntu machine. So I will go up here, go to settings, come down here where it says sharing, turn sharing on, go to remote desktop here. Turn Remote Desktop on, and turn Remote Control on. Where it says Password, if I view it, you'll see it's generated a password here. But I'm just going to use what my normal login for the password. Let me hide it so nobody can see it. And that's it for the settings. Now let's turn remote desktop uh, sharing on. So to do that, control alt T, pull up a terminal, and then I'm gonna use this following command, system control user restart GNOME remote desktop service. Hit enter. And if I wanna check the status of it, I simply use the up arrow key, and then come over here where it says restart. And I'll just simply say status. And it says it's starting. It started. The RDP service 
is started. Remote Desktop Protocol is started. And that's pretty much it for setting up Remote Desktop on the GNOME Desktop. Here I have a Windows 11 machine on the left, and I have my Ubuntu machine on the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from the Windows machine on the left to the Ubuntu machine on the right. Now, both of these machines have to be on the same network. So in order to connect, I'm going to need the IP address of the Ubuntu machine. So let me move my cursor over here, bring it into the Ubuntu machine, do a control C to get out of the status, and do an IPADDR uh, 192.168.1.13. So that's going to be my IP address. And come over here to my Windows machine, click on Start, key in Remote Desktop. Here I am, Remote Desktop Connection. Let's open it up. And as you see, I've already had some practice here, but I have to put in the uh, IP address. Click Connect. And then Connect again. And up comes this warning about the viewing the certificate. I'm going to click Yes. Now, this is a bug that uh, may or may not appear. And it says, because of a protocol error, this session will be disconnected. Please try connecting to the remote computer again. I'm going to click OK. And the issue right here is if I go to Show Options, and on the display, Ubuntu does not like True Color 24 bit. It needs highest quality 32 bit GNOME desktop. And I'm going to just simply connect again after I've changed this setting. And you should probably go ahead and change this setting before you try and connect. But I just wanted to show you that common, I guess it's called a feature connect. Connect again. Do uh, you want to view the certificate? Yes. And you'll see now I have up here it says remote desktop connection. And to verify that, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to exit here. Okay, you'll see it disappeared on both sides. And I'm going to open up the Firefox web browser. Of course, being Snap, it's going to take a little bit of time. You'll see it comes up on both machines, and I'm going to go YouTube slash, and pull up my YouTube site. Shameless, I know. But anyway, just to show you that this works, that's pretty much it. How to connect from the Windows machine to an Ubuntu machine. Let me close that, and you'll see it disappears on both sides. And let me close the remote desktop connection, and you'll see Windows comes right back again. And that's pretty much it for connecting from Windows to Ubuntu. So in this section, I'm going to use the remote desktop protocol to connect one Ubuntu machine to another Ubuntu machine. You'll see they're both a little bit different. And these screens are kind of squished. This is set up this way for demonstration purposes. And you'll see that the one on the left has got PyCharm and uh, Firefox Developer Edition in the terminal, and the one on the right doesn't. So in order to make that connection, I have to go down here to Show Applications, and then start a program called Remina, R-E-M-M-I-N-A, and open that up, and then come up here where it says Add a New Connection Profile, and I'm just going to make a quick connect, RDP, make sure this is checked. If you recall the uh, IP address, 192.168.1.13, add the username, password, and that's the username and password to sign on to the Ubuntu machine on the right, domain, none, share folder, none, and let me go down and let's take a look at some of the other settings here. Use initial window size, and you notice right here it says color depth automatic 32 BP. Server chooses its best format, so we'll kind of leave it at that. And then simply connect. And because I've got both of these smashed into a, 
1920 by 1080, unless I actually change the sizes of this. It's going to look a little smashed up in here. And let me open up the. Uh, notice one is operating a little bit slower than the other. Window. Okay, so now I've got both windows open. It's not as fast as with the Windows RDP. So I've got a little bit of a lag here. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is because these machines are on the same network and they're actually right next to each other, but they're actually working through another host computer since they're both uh, virtual machines. So that may have something to do with it. So I'm just going to put up that. And it takes several seconds for this to get over. And you notice it comes up on the right immediately. So this Remina connection right here is a little bit slower than the uh, Windows connection. So that's pretty much it for connecting one Ubuntu machine to another using the remote desktop protocol. You can try this with two of your Ubuntu machines and see if yours is as slow as this. When I tested this before, it wasn't this slow, so I don't know exactly what the situation is here, but you can see for yourself if this is something you can use. And let me go ahead and close the browser. Actually, I'm closing the connection here, not the browser. And I'm going to say yes. And so the remote connection is closed. And that's pretty much it for showing you how the remote desktop protocol works in Ubuntu through the GNOME desktop. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.